Oh, 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 creeper, creeper. Oh, where'd he go? Where did he come from? Hey, everybody. I'm standing on top of my watchtower. I'm surveying my my vast kingdom. Yeah, my kingdom. I suppose I can get some exercise in while I'm at it. Oops. I dropped my sword. Drop my sword. So down, down, down we go. Here I am. Close that. Let's go down. We're going to change those windows. This is my bedroom. I don't like the windows anymore. So now, instead of using glass blocks, we're using glass panes. Yeah. Panes. Panes of glass. That looks pretty good. We'll see how it looks from the outside. Hey, I like that. Let's get a closer view. Yeah, a closer view. Oops. We'll put the tall rose bush right there. We'll put the short uh, flower in front of the window. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Very, very, very nice.
Now we're putting on the armor because where we are about to go, well, it's going to be dangerous. So dangerous that I need my sword. Now, I dropped the sword when I was at the top of the watchtower. So, did it fall down here somewhere? certainly do not see the sword. I don't see it out here, either. I don't think there's any way it could have... Uh, been cast so far out that it landed out here, so far away from the tower. Well, it's quite the mystery. I was way up there. I dropped my sword. I thought it came down here. I suppose it could still be at the top of the tower. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to grab another. I'm just going to grab another sword. And we'll enchant it uh, here in just a second because, well, we're going to be walking by the, the enchanting room anyway, so we'll stop off and put an enchantment on the sword. Yeah. Let's get some lapis lazuli. Lapis Lazuli. Here's the enchanting table. Now what can we choose from? Smite, I don't, can't do that. Fire aspect, one. That's what we go with. Now let's put away the Lapis Lazuli. Now we don't go in here very often and uh, so you're not aware of this new mine that I've started. We are going down to level 12. It's a long way up. Level 12 is where the diamonds are supposed to be. And that's where we are now. Level 12.
Now, on the left, no, not that one. On the left are the mine shafts that I have already created. We're just going to pick up where I left off, but we're going to run down and start from the other direction. So, yeah, this is bothering me the way all of this looks. On the right, you could see some other mine shafts. Over the years, I've I've done a lot of mining down here underneath the castle, and when I'm mining, and you know my new mine shafts, a lot of times crisscross with, uh, you know, some of the former mine shafts. If I ever started over again, I would definitely be much more organized when it came to my, my grid patterns for my mines. I know Izzy the Tiger has recently uh, started all over. He's created a, a new world. And uh, he has learned so much about this game that uh, I'm sure his new world will end up being a masterpiece. Yeah, a masterpiece. But his, his old world had become corrupted somehow. His, his computer had given him a lot of problems. and It was just, just a big headache. He eventually got a new computer. Uh, well, just recently. And he's created a new world. Hey, gold. There's gold in those there hills. We're going to mine around the gold. And then we're going to switch pickaxes to a pickaxe that's been in, uh, enchanted with a fortune enchantment. So maybe we can turn however many blocks of gold that are here into a few more. So was it seven? So I've got this Fortune 2 pickaxe. I think this works on gold, doesn't it? I could be wrong. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So were there nine blocks of gold ore? And that's how many I have, so. Apparently, the fortune enchantment does not work with gold. So I'm filling in all of this. Sometimes I don't bother. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. I was watching 
Izzy's, uh, Izzy the Tiger's uh, most recent Minecraft video. And true to his nature, he f filled in all of the things like that. He always does that, so. What I'm doing now is I'm adjusting my field of view. Yeah, that looks better. That's a little bit wider angle of view. Now, a, the last time I was See, I don't know. Let me rephrase that. A video or two ago, I was talking about my desire to fight the dragon. So you're probably wondering, well, what happened to that? What happened to that? Why are you... Hey, what's that? Is that a cave? I hear monsters. I'm safe. But back to the dragon. I still have a desire to fight the dragon. And, uh, maybe not as bad as I did before. But I'm going to get there. Someday. shafts to be three blocks tall with two blocks in between each one. Everybody seems to have their own opinion on the best way to mine when it comes to spacing and stuff. the fortune pickaxe right now because I do know that it does work with coal so if I mine 15 20 blocks of coal I could end up with uh, far more this iron ore also. But the fortune pickaxe does not work with the iron ore, so we'll just keep the standard pickaxe that I've started with. And I think I got it all. So let's fill in. Yeah. 
Uh, we're just doing a little bit of mining. So mining is very, it's very relaxing. You know, there's some monsters close by. Not sure where they are. I don't know if they're below me or above me. of flint. Flint is good. Make arrows with flint. Pretty much here, every type of monster imaginable. Zombies, I hear the skeleton bones. I thought I heard a uh, in Enderman a minute ago. If all three of those are there, you know, you just know the creeper is with them also. So I'm not sure where all of this is heading. It's probably heading toward an encounter with those monsters that we that we hear and I guess I'm different in uh, this respect when it comes to monsters is that I don't enjoy the the encounters some people play this game just yeah just so they can fight the monsters but that's not me i play this game to relax and to be creative and, and i know that i can switch the mode to creative mode and not worry about the monsters but when you don't have to worry about the monsters well it takes away from the game 
Because real life is full of monsters. And the pressure that you feel when you're playing Minecraft because of the monsters keeps you sharp. decide what I need to do. Hey, there's a skeleton has dropped into the hole. Two. Two skeletons. <laughs> This might be a good, uh, good way to, to uh, obtain s some XP. Just chop these monsters down at the legs whenever they step into the hole. worth one XP point. dropped a nice set of boots. Nice set of purple boots. Wonder how much life is left in those boots. I need to get rid of some things in my inventory. just about used up. That was a waste of time. I don't know what to do about the monsters. zombie. Why, why am I on fire? T 
and I set him on fire, and then he set me on fire. How did that go down? I guess I'm okay now. Now, I had this door here because on the other side of the door was a cave. I had actually forgotten about that until, until just now. Yeah, we're safe. We're safe now. Question is, can I get it? You really have to be careful working around lava. get these, you have to be extremely close to the block so that it comes up towards you. One step too far away and the block that you mine will fall from you instead of towards you. Got it. Barely. I think I mentioned that I'm using a mouse. I, I normally use the trackpad on the on the laptop because I'm usually sitting in my recliner when I play this game. This time, however, I'm I'm sitting at a desk. So using the mouse is much easier when you're at a desk 
versus being in a reclining chair. Let's go ahead and recover the door. And we're just going to go ahead and put the resources that, that we have on us and we'll put them into this chest. There's nothing wrong with keeping your your inventory neat. And being neat is a it's a good trait. Now down here we're pretty much at bedrock level. You see the bedrock. Some of you might recognize this big room, the big room of torches. I was so terrified when I was mining this room. I, I put way too many torches in it. And I guess I mined it uh, before I realized that uh, a mine shaft was a better way to go. And speaking of mine shaft, uh, I think I'm using the wrong terminology. I think we discussed this in a previous video. But when what you're digging is horizontal, I think it's a different name. Uh, I can't remember what it is. But I think a mine shaft is like uh, a vertical, you know, instead of horizontal. It'll come to me later, probably when I'm laying there, drifting off to sleep. So let's go back down to where we found the monsters. Let's try to do something with this uh, room. Not really sure 
exactly what I need to do. But I need to construct this room in such a way that I can see what I'm up against out there. Because right now, I just don't have the view that I need. Just don't have the view. And there's some gold and some iron ore. It's too bad that I just can't toss some kind of a sleeping gas canister toward the monsters and let them all fall asleep. And then I could go out there and slay them in their sleep. That would probably be the safest, yeah, the safest thing for me. Because I don't, there's so many of them, I can, you can hear that there's a lot of them. I don't want to step into that. Because if I do, I doubt if I would step back out. I'm sure that they would kill me. And just like in real life, when the odds are against you in an extremely dangerous situation that, and you feel like you're not going to survive, you probably should have a really good reason to uh, take that on. And playing this game, I just don't have a good reason. So I'm not going to take it on. I would. If I was trying to save the life of someone I care about. But I'm the only one down here in this cave. So, I'm thinking if I make a glass ceiling, that will give me uh, a better view. So be patient with me as I as I figure out how to construct this thing.
What is that noise? Perhaps I should have just continued mining instead of getting sidetracked with these monsters. want to just run out there like a banshee and swinging a sword chopping away at anything that gets in my in my way I just don't think I could overcome so many so many monsters And there's lava close by because you can hear it. I would probably end up in some kind of fight to the death standing next to a pool of lava. And that's not a situation that I would care to be in. I'm just not interested in dying. At least not like that.
going to put that door somewhere. They saw me. So maybe my overabundance of caution is has led to a boring video. I hope not. Just trying to stay alive. And hopefully you're just trying to sleep or study or just relax. Almost to the point where I think I want to put the door. We're just like a block away. I think I want to put the door right here. So now I have a way to get out into the open and hopefully not get caught by monsters. I can block this up for now. Oh. Oh, 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 creeper, creeper. Oh, where'd he come? Where did he come from? 
I must have had a hole in the ceiling and he dropped in. Well, I'm still alive, so that's a good thing. It's a good thing. So I think we're just gonna, we're gonna leave off right about here. And the next time I'm playing survival, this is, this is where we'll pick up. And, uh, kind of see where things go. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna clear this cave one way or another. We're gonna clear it. Yeah. We're gonna clear it. So if you're still awake and you haven't fallen asleep, uh, you can let me know in the comments by repeating the secret phrase which is chocolate chip cookies make me sleepy yeah. chocolate chip cookies make me sleepy that's a lot to type take care see you next time